Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the logic not gates. The logic not gate is a most basic of all the logic gate and is often referred to as an inverting buffer or simply an inverter. The symbol is as follows where we can see one and only one input and there is an output. It is a single input device which has an output level that is normally at a logic level 1 and goes low to a logic level 0 when its single input is at a logic level 1. In other words, it inverts or complements its input signal. The output from a NOT gate only returns high when its input is at logic level 0, giving us the Boolean expression as A is equal to A dash or Q is equal to A dash. Then we can define the operations of a single input logic gates as being if A is not true, then Q is true. Or reversely, if A is true, then Q is not true. We can construct a NOT gate using transistor logic. A simple two input logic NOT gate can be constructed using an RTL that is resistor transistor switches as shown in this figure with its input connected directly to the transistor base. The transistor must be saturated on for an inverted output of at Q. The logic gates are available using digital circuits to produce desired logic function. The standard NOT gate is given a symbol whose shape is of triangle pointing to the right with a circle at its end. This circle is known as the inversion bubble and is used in NOT, NAND and NOR symbols and their output to represent the logic operations of the NOT function. This bubble denotes a single inversion or complementation of the signal and can be presented on either or both the output and the input terminals. The truth table of NOT gate is as follows where the boolean expression is represented as q is equal to not a and it is read as inverse of a gives q that is if a is equal to 0 then q is equal to 1 and simply if a is equal to 1 then q is equal to 0. The logic NOT gates provide the complement of their input signal and are so called because when their input signal is high their output state will not be high. Likewise, when their input signal is low, their output state will not be low. As they are single input devices, logic NOT gates are not normally classed as decision making devices or even as gate such as AND or OR gate which have two or more basic logic inputs. Commercial available NOT gate ICs are available in either four or six individual gate within a single IC package. The bubble present at the end of a NOT gate symbol above denotes a signal inversion or complementation of the output signal. But this bubble can also be present at the gate's input to indicate an active low output. This inversion of the input signal is not restricted to the NOT gate only but can be used on any digital circuit or gate as shown with the operation of inversion being exactly the same whether on the input or output terminal. The easiest way is to think of the bubble as simply as an inverter. So my dear students, in this lecture we had discussed the logic NOT gate. The logic NOT gate is the most basic of all logic gate and is often referred to as an inverting buffer or simply an inverter. It is a single input device which has an output level that is normally at a logic level 1 and goes low to a logic level 0 when its single input is at logic level 1. In other words, it inverts or complements its input signal. The output from the NOT gate only returns high if and only if the input is at logic level 0 using the Boolean expression A complement is equal to Q. So my dear student, hope you had understood this topic. Dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. The question is, write in detail about the logic NOT gate. 
So my dear student, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the logic NAND gate. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.